Coach Pinson. Coach, um, you're not the, the first wide receiver to coach running backs here for Coach Reed. Uh, what were your thoughts about when you coaching a position that you didn't play at the NFL level? Uh, well, I was excited about it. Um, you know, as far as being a coach, you feel like you can coach anything. Uh, it was a learning process for me, uh, coming from being a wide out, and now you learn a lot more of the fronts, uh, with the O line doing. So um, once I got used to that, as I'm continuing to get used to it, um, it gets me excited about it because you know things get easy for me. <laughs> And Eric Prince uh, mentioned your name when, when it came to coming here to Kansas City. What did you see in him during that draft process that maybe made you like him and wanted him to come? Well, we always talk about it. We talk about it currently. We uh, we liked how he, I told him he, he run with a purpose. You know, he run like he's um, pissed off at somebody. But, you know, it, it shows that he loved the game. And, and him running with a purpose, it tells you that, you know, he's running to um, – Run somebody over, or to to better himself, basically um, at this at this level. How many similarities are there between him and Pacheco? I know that Pacheco's been out right now while uh, rehabbing, but um, what you've seen so far? It's it's a it's a little similarity because you can see them guys running so hard, and like when Pacheco came in, and me being at training camp last year, I see a lot of similarities: running hard, running fast, running viciously, or whatever. But so um, the similarity is definitely there. What do you feel like Pacheco's missing by not being able to participate? He's not missing anything. He's not missing anything. He comes to the meetings. He um, actually, if he's on the field not doing his rehab, he's actually getting a lot of mental reps, helping the young guys out, actually helping me out as well. So uh, I don't think he's missing anything besides the physical part because he's getting all the mental, mental parts uh, down pat. Coach, you played for Coach Reed, correct? Yes. What's the experience been like not coming back as a coach and working under him? Oh, it's, it's good. It's good. I know what to expect from him um, as far as the ins and outs and what to, what to do and what not to do. But uh, it's, it's, it's fun being on this side of the ball now. And um, it, it just gave me the joy that when he gave me that call, you know, I was delighted to get an opportunity to come coach with him. What's been the difference between playing for him and coaching for him? Uh, practice. <laughs> I don't have to run around as much, so uh, it, it's good. It's good. I can see from not being in the meeting as far as their staff as a player, but being in the meeting as a staff, uh, as a coach now, see the, the ins and outs, what he look for when we're watching film, and that also helps me out as far as, like, learning what to do and what not to do. It's really been very early. Has it changed much? Uh, Yes. He's changed. Uh, no, I I think he's he's he kept a stay, uh, steady steady flow with it as far as coaching styles and strategies or whatever. It's just the fact that I can see the difference in me playing for him and me coaching with him or well, coaching for him right now. Uh, I can see the similarities as far as stuff that we did back in the past. Todd, uh, Clyde seemed frustrated at the end of last year between the injuries and everything. What's his frame of mind been since you've uh, come aboard? Uh, it's been it's been good. It's been good. Uh, when we had our Zoom meeting before we started our phase two, uh, you know, I had all the running backs to give me your goals going into the OTAs, and he wanted to be a lot more vocal, and he's been doing that, helping me out uh, along the way, as well, along with Coach Elliott, little the running back coach, and, and helping the young guys out. Well, actually, DP helping us out, and his his mind frame, mind frame is totally different. I told him press the reset button and start from, from scratch, and we can go from there. As a former NFL player, you can speak to this. I mean, how easy is that to, to press the reset button? Yeah, it's, it's very easy. All you got to do is just, you know, press it in the brain or whatever. Okay, let me give me a fresh start or whatever. But like I said, Clyde's been a great to us in, in, in my room, in our room, and uh, I think he's going to do well for us. Did you envision like this? player with Coach Reed. Did you guys ever have a conversation about one that wanted to coach? Uh, he always asks me because I'm always hitting him up every every week uh, when I left Philly or whatever. And it's always a good luck coach, great job coach, and coach hides the family. So I'm always keeping in contact with him. And he always asks me, what am I doing? And I'm always coaching somewhere as for if it's a high school, college. And I guess he saw the vision that I, you know, that I have and I have for myself. Being a um, a coach's son, you know, I guess he saw it in me, so he gave me the opportunity to come be uh, intern with him last last OTAs and last training camp, and then he saw something in me, I guess, to bring me aboard. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.